Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we start our first episode of the judging of the Merano OCD competition. Well, who is going to be the official chief designer of Merano? Who is OCD enough to stand the test of 10 cars that need to be designed? We shall find out in the, uh, well, nine upcoming episodes as well as this one. The design pillars that our 18 contestants will have to adhere to are simple, elegant, with attention to detail, and of course everything in classy red. Well, for the most part. There will be one episode for every car we are judging, and that means that I'm first going to do the cars in the public build, then the cars for, that were built for the open beta build, and then I'm going to decide on a winner and race that winner in BeamNG Drive. The first car that we are going to take a look at is of course the Titus CLS. Well, someone even didn't didn't properly name it, but uh, it, we, we shall get through all of these and then I switch over the version and so on. The first out of 10 cars that we are going to judge over the course of the competition is the Merano 1946 Titus CLS. And the first one up is the, the, the one that shall not be named, the one who forgot to name his cars properly, according to the rules. Well, there you go, sir. You, you, you made this one. And I just checked who this car's actual designer is, and that would be Sad Diseased. He's the one who's um, responsible for all the naming mishaps. And uh, this is the car. Let's have a quick look at it. Well, the front isn't looking um, very Italian, is it? A little bit more French with these, these um, clear yellow headlights. Um, a bit too modern looking almost for what I had in mind there, but um, certainly works. It has nice proportions at the front. It kind of flows pretty well. And some nice detailing on the blinkers there and the uh, the number plating as well. With, yeah, the, the use of chrome here, really nice. Going all around the car and uh, some... Nice details there as well. So attention to detail, definitely there. Same thing goes there. Oh, that's nicely done. Same there. The wing mirrors are looking about right and... Oh, yeah. Only one. Only on one side, which of course is deliberate. And looking all around. Yeah, this is looking pretty much... Pretty much as intended. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm not so sure about this Merano badge. This looks uh, quite a bit too modern. Some. Oh, let's let's check for OCD warnings here. The Tito's. No, it's nicely spaced. This T seems a little high. Ah, my OCD is almost triggering. But no. Oh, that these are very well aligned for what they are um, and hmm what about this configuration here I'm not so sure it looks like it wasn't quite clear what he wanted to do there it's uh, replicating the front design uh, does it succeed in that yeah I, I mean partially partially this is not bad this is really not bad quite like it and we have the exhaust coming over to the other side there. Uh, some recall of design from front to back. This is quite well done. And I overall like the look. So, um, it's, it's not spectacular or anything. But I would say this is... This is a 6.5. This is a good plus. And here we have the neck. Ah, my eyes. My eyes. <laughs> This, this is not what I meant by classy red. <laughs> For these instances, I have, I've prepared something. I've prepared something and that will be the classy red, um, save my eyes paint. Okay. Ah, that's a bit better. Uh, um, of course I can't get 
get back the the original paint, but we've we've all seen it by now. So let's have a look at the design itself. Um, yeah, badging does work. The kind of round round grill there instead of another set of lights. Also, kind of neat idea, and. It is a neat idea, but it's not useful because, well, the engine isn't there. Uh, <laughs> it goes to nothing. But let's have a look around. Uh-huh. Okay. Titus. Oh. Nice. With the badging there again. But mm, I'm not so sure about, about this. Because it's tilting at a weird angle. I see. Well, the blinker is as well. But just does, does it look right to you? It's a little weird. It's a little weird. I don't think it quite works. The same goes here. This is also tilted at a weird angle. I mean, that's a nice recall of the design there, so that you don't have it only in one place. Here, it's not quite as out of place, I would say. But uh, well, there's no there's no brake cooling on this car, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Also, OCD warning. Are these letters really aligned? The, this this T looks to be quite a bit higher than this one. Ah, oh, okay. Um, what more do we have? Well, these blinkers up in the front, quite nice. The lower grills look way, way, way too modern, though. And that is something I would expect on a kind of 1990s um, sports car in general. The chrome line running down the middle here is quite nicely done, as are the wing mirrors. They are fitting maybe a little large and too far out. Probably would have placed them more like there. Um, so they are sticking out very far. They are almost sized for you pulling a caravan or something. Uh, door handles, let's have a look. Oh, okay, a little rounded. A little fancy. Yeah, I mean that can work. Uh, it's not, it's not spectacular or anything. Let's have a look at the rear. Hmm. Yeah, I'm. I don't like these. The use of these grills here. While they sure would be functional, I don't think they are error correct, and they don't. They don't look the deal. They really don't look the deal. The uh, and these. Taillights also way too modern. This is some modern shit going on there for 1946. It's it's not that modern. Uh, these grills, sure, they kind of work. Also a little modern. To, uh, the handle to get into the engine bay, yeah. And exhaust, not much going on there. Hmm. Well, overall, I don't quite enjoy that design too much because of. Um, yeah, the various issues with it, especially the error correctness, and yeah, what do we give this one? I think it is a. I just had to check the old original uh, scale for judging from the old official design contest, and that would mean that this is what I would say a is a poor plus. That's a 3.5 because of the issues pointed out. So just as a reminder, the scale goes um, from 1 to 10 and it is terrible, very bad, poor, meh, all right, slash solid, which is a 5, then good, very good, great, fantastic, and number 10 is unbelievable. And next up is MGR99. Just need four. <laughs> various fixtures to settle first all right so here it is yeah all right all right oh okay okay well let's start at the front this line here with the the badge in there looks quite nice i like how it ends down here although in general it also looks quite modern with how rounded it is and these, these slits going on and so on, as well as this. This is really, really nicely done, by the way. I, I quite like this design, but I'm not sure if it quite fits the era that well. I, I would give this a pass, though. This is 
It's quite nice. And I like the split of the, the bumpers up front. Chromey look there. It's almost like it has a moustache. And let's have a look at the sides. The wing mirrors being up front is, is rather fancy. Um, would, would they have had two? Yeah, I guess. Why not? Why not? Could have had two. And here we have some more detailing. Oh, very. Yeah. There's, this is OCD safe. You can look. Yeah. Blinker the side. That looks error correct and is nicely placed. That is all. Yeah, the line, all, all the line down here. Well, you're not supposed to look too closely because then you see, of course, the individual pieces it's made of. These are all fitting quite well. Going around all the way to the back, and then we have a bit of a problem here. This looks way over designed. This is not elegant and simple. This is just, yeah, let's smash it. Let's smash everything on top of it. Like Me Merano. Yeah, nice, nicely placed. This, this kind of works. But then, uh, well, <laughs> central exhaust. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's a bold design. This looks too modern with the plastic backing there. And, ah, oh, there's so much text everywhere. Hmm. I think less would have been a lot more here. The number plate is nicely done with the, the bolts um, sticking it to the rear. But I, this is, this seems like too much. And oh, there's even another emblem on top. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. nice line over the top. I can accept that. And yeah, uh, we have these handles as well. Interesting. Yeah, overall, I'm I'm not so convinced about this one. I'm not so convinced about this one. Seems over-designed on the rear. Uh, the front has some really nice aspects to it. But um, it's not convincing for the era, really. Oh, this is a difficult one. Okay, after a little bit of deliberation, I would say it would be a shame to give this just a five because of how how clearly well crafted it is in its details even though the eye is sticking out down to a little too low but um so I, I i yeah with this this rear it can't be a six so i'm going to stick with a 5.5 for this one and the next candidate is the almighty twingo I do approve of that name. Um, anyway, ah, well, what we instantly see here is a much cleaner design. It more fits the um, design pillars of simple and elegant. And attention to detail. What? Oh yeah, are you trolling me? <laughs> Why is there a dick on the, on the bonnet of this thing? A cock and balls emblem. <laughs> well, it's nicely crafted with a, what is this, a handle? It's a handlebar and two, two doorknobs or something? Some keyholes? <laughs> well, it's, it's really, that's, that's good for a laugh. <laughs> I don't think it's too, too fitting for the car. I think they might have been rather prudish back then. <laughs> it's like, why do you have a car? The, the cock and balls um, car, it's, it's known as. Not the Titus. Um, so okay, let's let's talk about the other design elements on the front, because you barely can see this one from there. But in a close-up, it's rather obvious. Um, anyway, quite like this arrangement. It's simple but effective. Yeah, yeah, that works. The eyes seem oversized. This this looks like it's on drugs or something. And these smaller lamps, yeah. I mean, without them, it would look quite empty. I'm not so sure about them, though. Would a car back in the day have had these kinds of lights? Like the additional ones? Well, so that's probably quite expensive to make. This was not an expensive car. Let's have a look around here, though. 
Um, yeah, compared to the front. Well, you see, some rounded stuff here, and then we have some harsh edges over here. So this, this doesn't look quite correct in combination. Mm, okay, very nicely placed windscreen wipers though. They look very natural. I almost didn't see them there. That's that's well done. And also using this kind of handle there. Big Merano in the rear. Let's see how OCD safe it is. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. This is this is well well crafted. Number plate all in chrome. That might be a bit too much. Uh, oh, tiny tiny exhaust there. Uh, what's going on with that one? Has he actually placed an exhaust? Is this the exhaust? Mm, well, I don't know. It, it looks a little strange, but all right. And we have one backing light there and none there. Okay, nice attention to detail. Um, these... Yeah, I'm not necessarily a fan of the design. It looks very side heavy and then this seems forced otherwise though I mean the components are all there and mm, yeah attention to detail for the placement is definitely there probably could have gone with a smaller text Merano isn't quite in your face as this is but nice detail with the, the side strips in chrome I think this is a I think this is a solid design. This is a <laughs> cock and balls five for you. And a dick slap on top of it. And next up is Lesla Vangelo. Or however you would pronounce that. And what do we have here? Well, the front looks very much like I would expect from a simple and elegant. Let's have a look at the details here. This is quite nice. Um, looks more 50s than 40s, I guess. But I'm not an expert. Um, otherwise, very few components, but the balance seems right. And I'm not so sure about this number plate without a number plate on it. The uh, badging works really well. I like that there's a bit of a gap here. It's not entirely connected, but it's obvious that it's part of, of that. It points towards it. Uh, yeah, quite like it from the front. We have the antenna here. Did we actually have a basic radio inside? Because otherwise... Um, otherwise... Yeah, no, premium. Premium AM radio, so yes. This is attention to detail. Very good. What do we have there? Oh, oh that's, that's cool. Fuel tank in the front. Makes sense to keep the, the weight balance um, in check. And then we have side blinkers in white. Okay. A bit of an air intake on the sides. Maybe that's uh, foreboding some of the later designs. Who knows? And nice side stripe to accentuate it. This is quite like this. This is simple but works. Also, windscreen wipers. A bit of ventilation there. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is more than just solid. Let's have a look here. Oh, oh, the rear, the rear. Mm, the central exhaust pipe there kind of works. Um, I don't know if it would have been better offset, but what doesn't work to me is this massive lettering. This is very overburdening, like in your face. And maybe the, the rear blinkers and and uh, brake lights are um, a bit on the large side as well although yeah yeah I, I think so I think so hmm I I do like the fake kind of wing we have here I don't know if they would have been aware of this stuff back back in the day um, yeah this is all basic but works the grill too So the rear is a bit disappointing after seeing the rest. Uh, I would say overall this still is a 6 to me. Well, this takes a while to load. Holy shit, this is slow. <laughs> okay, let's wait a little while longer. 
All right, so next contestant is Vaku. Uh, I hope I get that somewhat right. And what do we have here? Merano, again going for the a little bit of a French style headlight type. Well, very, very chromey. The, the balance seems about right, but quite heavy. Like, very heavy. This is not simple and elegant to me. This is more in your face style. And the big, big Merano badging is also part of that. Uh, very nicely done with this stuff. This fits nicely. But massive headlights. And well, it's very shiny. Maybe this looks less overburdening when uh, you are in a less aggressive lighting conditions. The um, front bumper is also very much in your face. Everything chrome. And let's have a look up here. Okay, we do have a, a fuel tank up front again. Ah, oh, some hinges going on for, uh, for your um, baggage. That is really what it is. But there's no handle here. So I wonder how this is actuated. Um, or is, does this serve as... Nah, nah, there, there's no no way to get in there easily. No, no obvious one. So we do have these stripes going everywhere. Holy shit. What, what is this? Okay. This looks more like something you would see in Back to the Future. Some, some leads going everywhere. Um, I'm not, <laughs> not so sure if, if this really hits the mark for simple and elegant. <laughs> I mean, it's it's very finely crafted, apart from ah, the gap between the E and the R is slightly too large. Um, but this is all very nicely crafted. It's just not in the style that we have said Merano is about. Simple and elegant. Maybe if you only had that line and then not, not this and this text and the Tito's doubled up and... Oh, also different spacing here to there. Ooh, my OCD. Um, this is nicely done. Quite like that. It's interesting. It's not... Um, I don't necessarily think it fits the style, but uh, that's a great idea. Um, and here... Ah, some kind of manually made fake grill. And this riffling on top. And then opening to the bonnet. Oh! Holy shit, what is this? Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I think... I, I think this might be in a... Des let's call it a design outlier. This is certainly special. Looks more like something hideously crafted from the US from the mid 50s. I'm not so sure about that design choice. Oh, uh, the, the top is, is looking more to my liking though. And just pretty simple. Antenna for the AM radio. And windscreen wipers. Yes. Okay, this, this is good. That's good. So, there are some really cool design ideas in this. I really like how the chrome is going around here. What a nice idea. But, man, this is just not Merano, is it? This is like the opposite of Merano in style. And, whoa. And then a lip down there? Or a fake one? Hmm. Anyway, overall, this is just overburdening. It, oh, and the rear. <sighs> Holy. Um, so how do we rate this one? Alright, I would say the <laughs> for being a Merano, Merano car, it would be poor. <laughs> it is a free. But it is expertly crafted with a lot of attention to detail, despite it being <laughs> pretty awful in design in some instances. Uh, and brilliant in others. But so this this ends up at a 3 plus 1. I give it a bonus point for craftsmanship. So, you get a 4. Next up is question mark. Hi, Mark. Um, and oh, can we just appreciate how much less overburdening this is compared to the previous one? This is 
On the other hand, uh, on the other side of the spectrum, like, okay, the front. The front is actually pretty nice. I like the badging here. Oh, the M isn't quite in line with the other characters, though. My OCD is, feels slightly triggered. Hmm, the M. The M is the culprit. The main culprit. The E is also a little off. And the R is too low. And the others are pretty nice. Uh, so, yes. Front, simple, and elegant. Check mark. Badging? Quite nice. Handle down there for your baggage excess. Oh, neat. Okay. Also, massive fuel tank cap. And windscreen wipers and a bit of chrome going to the rear but then I mean the sides look at that there is definitely some element missing here it's not much it's not much maybe a chrome line going down here at the bottom would already help to to accentuate this this kind of design you have going here um, probably would have to be from here to here somewhere because you have the line running through the middle here as well. And that would be simple, but elegant. Like this, it's just simple. And the rear? Oh, what's what's with people and all the text? You don't need to put the text everywhere. Tito CLS, yes, 1100. Um, that that it looks like an, a layering error or the fixture system not quite coping with it. And if it's not coping with it, then you don't do not do that. You just pull it down a bit. Uh, but it's, it's not too bad an offender. I don't like the massive grill on top here with the see entirely see-through and entirely chrome. That seems a bit too much. And oh, the line down the rear is nice. So this isn't far off. This really isn't far off, and this is probably the front I like the most so far. Very simple, yet elegant. This looks rather good. Uh, so I would say the text here, so overall, like when you just look at the good parts, that's probably a six and a half or seven, but then empty side, uh, too empty side, and then too much text on the rear. That is one off. I and then the grill there. That's uh, so 5.5 or 6. Hmm. I think. Let's see. How's the badging done here? Is it comparable to that? Yes, it is. Okay. Slightly overburdening, I suppose. Eh. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's. Ah. Uh, is it a solid plus or is it good? I think it's a 5.5. Solid plus. And next up is GF06. Let's have a quick look. Oh, what? 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 Porcupine? Oh, no, wait a second. There's something... Something going on here. Okay, that, that one looks wanted. These... Don't? Like, what, what's even going on there? I mean, let me... Let me see... Oh, that's... What is that supposed to be? It's just a line. All right, let's move them about a bit. Do they disappear? Ah, okay. Okay, so there are some... Oh! So something's going on there. Something on import. All right, um, let's say they, they were meant to be like that. Um, all right. So let's have a look. Front. Uh, again, again too much. You guys are trying too hard. Simple, yet elegant. This is, in your face, too much badging. <laughs> the MO, huh? That's, that's kind of kind of nicely, nice try on, on creating a custom badge. But then, this isn't needed. I think it would look a lot better without the Mirano badging here. Uh, number plates and the bumper bars. Quite nice. Fits. This is probably too large. I think it's too large. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, well, headlights. Also a little large. Overall, a little overburdening in the front. And the chrome line going down the middle. Let's have a look. Whoa. Are you supposed to... What? 
How are you supposed to open it from there? I mean, it's not a large car, yes, but that requires some... Uh, if You would open it to the top, right? And it's how long it is, with how long it is, that would probably be massive. Well, this is a low car. Hmm. Yeah, I, th this seems weird. I, I think that would more open up from the front. So you maybe should have gone with a dick and balls handle. But let's take a look at the side. So we have chrome line going down there. Almost perfectly aligned. Um, this, this little grill here looks way too modern. Um, yeah, yeah, that doesn't quite fit. Also, too much. But at least it's in style with the front. Everything is a little too much. You had the double line here. And now you have a double line going down the sides. And fuel cap there. That's nice. It's not on the other side. Ah, that's neat. Okay, on one side you have the fuel cap. On the other side you have the badging. And, oh man, this is, this is almost American style. 50s American style. A proper premium car. Ah, uh, with how much chrome there is. This is not not really Merano, is it? And then, the rear lights... Do they fit with the front? No. I mean, if you are using very round shapes for the lights in the front, then I would expect the same to be true in the rear. And, for that matter, on the sides, probably. Although you can get away with a, a square little blinker there. Uh, or none, because I don't don't think they had to have had these blinkers on the sides yet. But anyway, let's have a look at the rear in general. This antenna thing here is, is quite neat. It's a nice idea to have it at the side like this. And uh, this looks more like it is... I, I, I keep thinking boat for some reason. <laughs> Why do I keep thinking boat when I see this? Doesn't look in style. Although when you look at it like this from behind, it it is consistent within itself. I don't think it's a good style for this kind of for this car and the design pillars, but it kind of works. Uh, Tito CLS very very thickly underlined. Hmm. And then, yeah, this line coming towards the uh, number plate kind of works. But then, man, massive chrome everywhere. This is just too much. And I think, in comparison, the front looks almost simple and elegant <laughs> compared to the rear. This is also over-designed. Yeah. It's not quite as bad as an, off an offender as some of the other designs, but um, I still think this is missing the mark because of that. And it's also nicely crafted in parts, but a bit too much. So after a bit of deliberation, I think I'm going to settle with A4. And the next competitor is Micon P7. Hmm. Uh, an old competitor from the original design competition as well. He did pretty well there. Um, anyway, what what is this color? I don't recognize it. It is not Merano cla Classy Red. But, okay, let's uh, first take a look at the car. So, very, very hard lines with the, the cross coming down here towards the main badge, which is nicely crafted. Um, Otherwise, just the two lights, uh, two sets of lights. Um, not not bad, not bad. Quite simple, I like it. Um, a little overburdening with how heavy these lines are and how heavy the chrome is in general. Uh, let's have a look around. We only have one, one rear mirror, that's also good. Oh, nice little hinges. Attention to detail is there. And built into the chrome line here as well. Nicely done. Double line going to the rear. That is, oh, maybe even triple line. How did, wow, that is, holy shit, that's a lot of, of work to put this together. I was thinking like, how the hell? Almost looks like it's supposed to be that way. But, um, 
like that it's one fixture, but it isn't, as you can see. So that is, that is a heck of work to put that together. Um, so nicely crafted there, not a nice idea. I like it. And here, what do we have there? Fuel tanks, addition of, oh, oh, wait a second. Let me, let me check those stats. Was it that bad, really? Come on, was it that bad? Oh, uh, we have, uh, where, where do we see that? I never check fuel economy. It's, it's not on here, it's on the design, no? Oh, there it is. 12.7 liters per 100 kilometers. You don't need that many fuel tanks. God, that's that's a bit too much. Uh, what, what is the, the range of this thing with these fuel tanks on top? These look like, what would that be? Like 15, 15 liter canisters? Like an additional 30 liters right above the engine? I mean, how you've constructed this is pretty neat. This is pretty neat. And lots of detail here too. And even some hinges there. Um, well, this is, yeah. I mean, it looks consistent. And also the same stuff going on, like in the front. The badging. That's well done. Overall, also too much. It's just too much. Not extremely too much, mind you. Um, just a little too much. The front is a bit heavy. And the rear, mainly because of this, slightly burdening, and well, too many chrome lines coming here, like from everywhere. Three lines, then one across, plus the bumper. And here we have three lines as well. And here we have two lines and one going uh, over the car on top. Very nicely crafted. Let's see what it looks like in its, uh, Merano Tescala. Ah. Oh, okay. Well, quite nice. Quite nice. Well, this one is difficult to rate. This is also... <sighs> it is well crafted, it is well designed, but too much. Too much design. Too much design. What do we give this one? I think... Uh, with just a little less... I think this would be a seven, but like this, I will have to give it a a. Oh, we haven't looked at this. Whoa, that's large. Um, ah, it's so difficult. I think this is a six. Like it would be a seven with a bit less. And yeah, the the headlight, the um, tail lights here are also way too large for a simple, elegant car, is it? Yeah. Yeah. All okay. right. It's a six because of um, how well crafted it is in parts and some really nice design elements. It just doesn't quite fit the Merano design pillars. And that was it for the first batch that is from the public build. Let's go on to the open beta build. And next up is BF94. Let's have a look here. Yeah. Okay, interesting to go with the not quite round headlines. That's you you're the first one to do that, I believe. Um interesting configuration though. Yes, I think that, that quite works. Uh the decent little strip of chrome down the sideline merging with the standard door handle everyone is using and nicely connected to the rear. And what do we have there? CLS 1100. And it is very much OCD compatible. Oh, no, not quite. Not quite. This this little circle is slightly offset. <laughs> um, but very close, very close. This is looking good. These tail lights are a bit more 50s, 60s. But, uh, I mean, you could argue that it's it's somewhat in style. This is quite well made as well. There's badging there. And where's the exhaust? Oh, there, side exhaust. Double little side exhaust behind the rear wheel arch. Now that's that's a, a good location because they're kind of hidden. Um, yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good, don't know what to say. 
This is looking good. Like overall, it has a consistent theme. Um, some, yeah, the, the headlights configuration is interesting. Blinker down there. On the sides, there's nothing, but there needs to be nothing in this era. We have one wing mirror. We have an antenna on the other side. Hinges there. Okay, nice attention to detail. Ah, beautiful. Some windscreen wipers there too. Yeah, overall, this is a pretty good design. Quite like it. it very interesting to go with the uh, squarish ones. I assume you've tried the, the round ones too. I think still think the round ones would have fit, uh, considering that you went all round in the rear. And, well, then these would be a little out of place, of course. But uh, still, overall, pretty good. So what do we give you? Hmm, I think this is at least a good design. Maybe a... Oh, interesting. Ha! <laughs> a bit more headroom here for the driver. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's it's also an interesting choice. A bit of a... It, when, when it falls over, uh, it's, it's rolling oddly. Um, no, but anyway. So, is this a 6 or a 6.5? It's nothing spectacular, but it really works. I think this is 6.5. Yeah, let's note it down. Well done. So let's quickly just do the open beta bunch and then return to installing the public build. Anyway, first up is Edsum. Is, is, is that how you say it? Edsum. And there we have Zika. That is quite the looker. Ah, fancy design. That certainly looks elegant. Yeah, nice composition. Good badging up front. Yeah, nice, nice chrome features. Nothing looks disproportionate. This just gels really well. Cool stuff. I'm not so sure about this weird spike going down the middle. But uh, it does fit the line, the roof line of all. Ah, I see you've kind of drawn it all the way through. That's nice. And some side lines there too. Let's see how you've handled the sides. That is pretty good. It's pretty good. And we have the CLS there. That That is, that is the plug for the EV station. Yeah, exactly. And that is very 50s, which is fine. And the rear. Cito, uh, Tito's CLS. Nicely made. Yes, Merano. This is good. This is really good. I'm not so sure about this line. I think that is unnecessary. Because otherwise... Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you have enough lines here. Like this, this here is already there and you didn't... I don't think you had some kind of triangle going on up front here. Not much. Well, you have this one. Okay, so there is something like this in the front, I see. So you can have that in the rear too, which you do have. It's the same kind of features there. All right, I, make, I guess it works. And this is beautifully made. This is, this is really good. I can't find the weak spot here, really. Some badging going on there and there. Yeah, I mean... You could argue that it's a, a little bit too much, but not by much. Too much. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, it's very elegant. Somehow this front design really catches me. I mean, you are using a paint which is much too fancy for the era. It's very flaky. That's, that's not a paint they would have had back then, so you're kind of cheating. You bastard! But, um, it is pretty. It's really pretty. Okay, let's go through here. So, front. The front is is absolutely great. Loving it. Eight. Um, some, oh yeah, some nice detailing here too. Decent stuff, yes. Sides. That fits the bill. Very nice detailing going on here. So, you could argue that's also probably um, like seven and a half or something. And the rear is just as good as the front. Beautifully made. A little too modern maybe on some of the aspects there, but... Uh, we can see past that. 
I think overall this is this is actually an eight. This is great stuff. Next up is Sky High. And what do we have here? Also a decent looker. A bit ugh, a bit too much there, too much chrome. It's not not very subtle, is it? And the Titos is still a little subtle. It doesn't have the massive V8 in it, the massive 2 litre V8. <laughs> but it's a bit of a simpler caster. It's nicely crafted, not quite the style we are looking for. It's this is a little too pompous, maybe. Uh, but beautifully made. This is definitely a good look. And the sides, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, wing mirrors, nicely put into. Ah, some lines going to the door handle. Some attention to detail there too. No uh, direct um, ventilation of the driver cabin. And there's this fat bar down here. That that seems to be too much. I mean, this is this is a little heavy, but so is this overall. So yeah, but look at it. This just sticks out too much. This could have been very subtly implemented. You already have a strong line up here. You don't need an even fatter line down there. And the rear? Yes, for the most part. This feels gimmicky. This feels really gimmicky. I mean, without this, maybe smaller lettering so that it fits right above the badge would have been better. Um, otherwise, this also feels heavy. Like, really heavy. This is more Gasmian than it is Fruinian in design. Fits with the front, but overall doesn't fit Meirano too well. It's not bad though. So what do we give overall? Front is probably a 7. The sides are a little meh. So 5. The rear, probably 5.5, 6. So overall, I think we end up with a... Yeah, that's a six overall. So pretty well done. And next up, we have Accent. Yes, okay. What is this? It's a bit of a special design. Weird eye sockets you've crafted there. It looks a bit like it was in a, in a brawl and has swollen eyes. And... Fortunately, no one broke its nose ridge. Um, badging is, is fine. Placeholder for the number plate there. Blinkers overall. Mm, kind of crosshair like. It. Yeah. I'm not so sure about this because you have some, some really soft shapes around here. And then these harsh lines coming down, forming this, these ridges might be a bit counter to that. Doesn't look all too elegant. It does look a little cute, which isn't wrong for for the smaller smaller car like this. Uh, wh what? <laughs> what is this? Uh, this is where you store your cake when you drive to grandma. Um, and we have some ventilation there, okay. Uh, wing mirrors, the sides, that is nicely crafted. Bit of a gap there. Well, you probably didn't want to come too close to avoid the seam I can see there, but I think this piece could have been a little lower, OCD, central, and a little closer. Um, other than that, pretty nice. And the rear? Nice and simple, yet somewhat elegant. It looks a little droopy and sad, but it's not bad. It's certainly not bad. Uh, I quite like it overall. Ah, nicely mounted windscreen wipers. Actually having them upright, that makes a lot of sense. But yeah, okay, overall, what do we think? Well, it's certainly not a bad design, is it? It works, especially the, the rear being nice and simple, quite like that. The front, special at least. Is this, is this overall like front? Kind of special, but weird. That's a six to me. The sides, mm, yeah, five, five and a half. The rear, also a six. So overall, I think you also end up with a six, mate. That is pretty solid. 
better than solid even, it's good. It's a good design, it's a special design, it won't win. But it's a good try. Yep, six it is. And next up it is Infinity. Hmm. Uh, they're very, very chromey and quite busy in the front. Yeah, and then nothing that leads away from it. Like it's not connected. The front isn't con doesn't feel connected to the car necessarily. Um, interesting choice here for the headlights, having the double rounded shade, uh, shape. That does work. Not sure why you, ooh, why you weirdly connect them to round bits of, of vents. This one leads to the middle, this one doesn't. That is a little odd. This cross here also a bit strange with the branding. This is just warped, isn't it? Yeah, a little, little weird that you do that. I, I don't see the necessity for having it smushed like this. Um, the vents up front. Oh, with so much crumb, it does make it look busy. So much contrast going on. So I'm not a fan of the front necessarily. It's not, not bad, but it's definitely not good either. Uh, let's take a look at sides. Can we do it? What? Okay, <laughs> that is way too modern. <laughs> that looks way too modern. Uh, we do have some odd fake side vents because I mean. There's no engine here, we don't need much cooling there. Why Why would that be there? Uh, and this seems weird as well. This is kind of kind of cute to have the Titus a little tilted like this. This this is quite playful. I, I like the concept. And the placement of the, the rest of the bars is not necessarily there because, you see, th that's something I've run in myself quite a bit. And that is that when you stretch one and then have something the same thing on the other side but less stretched then the edges look completely different the rounding is completely different radius and so on uh, so that doesn't quite work um, wing mirrors okay we have some some wind windscreen spraying cap capabilities and windscreen was from the top that's good Nice touch. What? What is? What is this? Hmm. We 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 will never know. We will never know. Some bits of chrome around here. That look looks like a lot of work, and you are not supposed to look too closely because then it gets ugly. As you see there. Oh, no, no. I think that could have been left out. Uh, rear. Let's check. Well, some design recalls from the front. Hmm. Oh, ridges across the top. Chrome. Yeah, again, this is this is oh, this looks a bit too modern. I don't know if these thin chromey lines work. Looks quite busy and and somehow rigid. I don't know. I don't know. Some some good detailing here though. Is it OCD safe? Let's have a look. No, holy shit! No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Unless you no, no. I don't think it follows follows a proper rule of spacing, does it? This is massive. This is medium massive. This is small, and yeah. I mean, you could argue that oh, the, the the gap gets smaller every time, but then you would have needed another one just to make that that very clear, and that is the pattern you're following. Uh, otherwise, it's decent enough. But this is interesting down here. Mm, overall, I'm not convinced. Some odd choices for the design here. I think... Uh, is this... Mm, I think this is probably a 4.5. And the side probably as well. The rear a bit better. That's a 5. Um, overall... And all the, all the parts are there, that's for sure. Hmm. I think this is a five. And here we are back for a second stint in the public branch. First up, Necron Assassin. Hmm. Hmm. 
Um, there's something wrong here. Hmm. I can't put my finger on what? Could it be the color? Orange is not part of the Mirano Arsenal. But, on the other hand, this isn't a bad look. I quite like the design. Yeah. And well, this works. It has some nice composition going on here in general. And I like the detailing of the, the hinges there, the, the badge at the front with a line leading to it, and overall this really this window pane separator uh, really suits to uh, have another line along the car. Let's check out the sides. This is this is nicely done overall. This the right amount of chrome, the right amount of grills. Let's check the sides. Uh, simple. Very simple. Mm, probably not necessary to have one of these. And I would have liked it if this one actually had the same size. But maybe that is a theme that it's... No, no. You see, if you're doing this deliberately, then you want to be slightly larger than this because then it looks deliberate instead of oh well I just didn't properly align it on this uh, on the low end nice with the Murano badge in there slightly modern maybe I don't know uh, what I'm missing here is this theme from the front to have it on the side some kind of line running along could be down here can be down uh, uh, yeah just straight across um, but something's missing there and then the rear, yeah, very simple, but some design recalls from the front with this, this line and the badge. And this looks very empty. This looks very empty. Yeah, I'm not sold on this. This is a nice touch. Uh, windscreen wiper there, and you have them on the top there. Nice. But overall, quite decent. Ah, I see the exhaust pipes are coming out there. Oh! Wait a second. That's not supposed to be there. That one is. Hmm. Didn't you pay attention there? And deactivated the mirror, maybe? So, okay. Overall, this is a really good look. This is a... Is this a 7? Yeah, this is a 7. Um, from the side, a 5. And from the rear, a 5. So, overall, let's go with a 6. Oh, and also... Yes. Yes. Exactly. And next up is Roadkill. What do we have here? Well, this is a simple and elegant design. Yeah, I like it. I like it straight up. Straight up. This just works. There's not much going on here, but it doesn't have to. Uh, it's because the engine is in the rear, and why would you put extra cooling on the front then, right? So, um, front. Nice with the lines, works well. These are good, but might be on the edge, on the verge of too much. But because you have so little going on here, but it's well balanced and stuff, I think this still works. So, Merano badging there, Merano badging there, Merano badging there. Mm, not so sure if you want to have these so close together. Usually, as a rule of thumb, you would say that you're not supposed to necessarily, from obvious angles, see both properly at the same time. Like, when you look from the side, you would have something there. If you look, like, there, then you wouldn't be able to read that, but you clearly are able to read both of these. So, um, yeah, I'm not so convinced about that. Ah, fuel cap there, okay. Um, nice little vent. Intake here. It's an interesting design. Yeah, I, I guess that kind of works. It's fancy looking. Oh, okay. Hmm. Little Gasmian look to it. Yeah. Yeah, this is not too convincing. But from a bit of an angle, it starts to look better. Very empty up here. I would have expected some kind of grill or vents up there up there as the hood at, uh, after all and you have no way of getting in there easily some kind of handlebar on top 
some vents, that would have made it better, I believe. You're also going for the side exhaust on one side, and you actually deleted the mirror. Very good. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of this grill. This looks way too gasmian to me. Massive, massive bumper as well, which, yes, you have on the front. Um, but here it somehow looks bigger, it's just fatter. Maybe could have gone with a shrunk down version. But anyway, so front so, uh, six and a half. It's almost very good, but it's instantly recognizably good. And the sides, yeah, decent, decent. Five and a half. No, so uh, six and a half, five and a half, five. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, not a fan of this. But overall, it is quite a good car. Yeah, I... I a five and a half feels low for this. This is a good design. Overall, it is a good design. Alright, six it is. And next up is Mr. Petkov. And... Who are you? What? Oh, 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 so, sorry, I, so, I didn't want to startle you, good sir. Why? Why so scared? Uh, that is... That's a cool idea. I like the idea. It makes the car look a little scared. Hmm. Uh, very French style down here. But it's simple enough. It works. It works. It's slightly odd. This is slightly odd. Does this work anywhere else? Like, have it here? Maybe? Hmm, interesting. But uh, we do have windscreen wipers. This is all good. Sides. Tit. Oh, oh, but way too modern. Now this is very nicely crafted. I really like, like the craftsmanship here. It looks absolutely beautiful, but it is a bit too modern. Uh, yeah. But well done. I mean, this is a, it's a great idea, and I like the line along the side. And from here gives it a bit of a... Yeah, I'm not, not sure if this is entirely required. But it's a good idea. And what do we have at the rear? Hmm. Okay, same style. Maybe? Maybe gone a little large? Do we have any reverse light in here? Uh, of course, you didn't have to have one back in the day, I believe. Uh, but... It would be nice. Oh, oh, it's in here. It's in in the badge. Oh, that's pretty cool. Interesting. And we do have a way to get into the bonnet. Nice. And an antenna. Perfect. And a massive fuel cap. All right. So the sides here look a little empty, but that's fine. Uh, and yeah, and this is a little, a little too modern. But overall. It's a pretty good design. There's some very interesting elements in it. Um, I'm, the, the rear doesn't quite work as well. Hmm. So, six in the front, despite it being French. Uh, the side, ah, this. If this were era appropriate. This kind of craftsmanship is what I would call great, so that would be an 8, but in the context of this one, this doesn't quite work. It's unfortunate. So overall, some some great ideas almost, a very good ideas at least, doesn't quite work. Oh, I just see, huh, just seeing this, exhaust pipes there. Yeah, there's some not really nice ideas in here. It's a shame they didn't all work, but I I do like to give you a six. Now I've given all the remaining ones a six, but they all deserve a six. It's all good designs, but they are individually flawed in different ways. So they are not going any further than this. There's a lot of promise in this one. Looking forward to your future designs. Let's see if you carry over some of these ideas and make them work on different shapes. Anyway, six it is. And that was it, concluding the first category of judging, 1946. 
the Titus CLS. And we do have a winner, a pretty clear one at that, but some really nice entries. And it is Esdem with an 8. A great design. Have a look at this here. Isn't it pretty? It is amazing. Anyway, we shall uh, take a look at actually driving the car in the little follow-up episode in BeamNG Drive. And maybe we need to do some uh, minor tuning uh, for, for that to be entirely possible. We shall see. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.